Hey yo, what is happening guys? On Spear Vlog since they're back and as you can tell by the title, we are back with something that we haven't done in a long time. Pro a good couple months. Like I've not uploaded one of these How long has it been? So say I haven't been out of the house since March. So that's April, May, June. It's been about three and a half, four months. Uh doing the dark side of YouTube, as you can tell. Usually this is mine and Brandon series. Uh, me and Brandon started it. I've done an episode with Slay, I've done an episode with Shay. But it's usually mine and Brandon series. But literally, you're allowed to see your friends now, but I'm not able to bring him into the house so we can react to stuff. So any videos I do with them, which I'm trying to get done, will have to be outside. And it won't be reaction videos or anything. But I feel like this is long overdue, so I'm just going to do a uh, Dark City YouTube myself, because there still is quite a few more episodes remaining anyway. So I don't feel like it'll make a difference if I just do one. But yes, uh, we're back for Dark City YouTube. I have not watched the Dark City YouTube in, like I said, about four months. So I'm excited, because I want to see... Uh, I remember it's It's a very weird place, and I want to remember how weird it is. So let's... What is going on? Three, two. Okay. Is she wearing a mask or is her makeup just really bad? Nah, she's wearing a mask, 100%. Okay. Are you okay? I don't like the way she's staring at me. Shoot. Oh my god. I, I really, I... You all have the same mask, and it, oh. kind of scared from that beat drop like is this a haunted video now you're just eating a strawberry off now you're just eating cake I'm very confused got a little bit yeah so stop staring at me while you're eating don't stop Stop. <laughs> She's staring at me while I'm eating. That's making me actually feel uncomfortable. Stop it. I ain't gonna. Okay, the rest of us is just her eating, so I'm gonna just skip on to the next video. Um. Okay. Why well, my Wi Fi gotta play up now, bro? I would go. An, extra an extraordinary disease. Okay. But I know the way humans live longer than. Don't cut me off, bitch. I know this ain't a disease about Corona because that will not be social distancing. Ever before. Unfortunately, the fragile human body can scarcely keep pace with this modern development. Okay. Body parts will have to be replaced more frequently. Nowadays, just about everybody gets an implant during their lifetime. In future, that number will only sharply increase. Metal hip replacements, knee replacements, and... To be fair, she ain't wrong. She's not wrong at all. Very much right. ...and heart valves. Implants can no longer be ignored. On a worldwide scale, more than a million hip replacement operations are carried out. If anything, 
implants form an even greater growth sector than that of biotechnology. Edinburgh. The problem is, however, that these artificial body parts are, in practice, very much prone to infection. From decades of research since the medical introduction of implants, we can observe that infection occurred within the first 72 hours. It was rarely seen after the first week. But recently a mysterious phenomenon has been reported in the medical literature. Scientists refer to it as metallosis okay. maligna. People who have benefited from implants for considerable years still seem to be at risk of so getting infected. this is a disease for people with implants? Okay. Every implant reacts against the human body. The so-called graft versus host disease. This disease is often aggravated by a bacterial infection around the implant itself. During the placing of the metal implant, the onset of this graft versus host disease is delayed by a specific bacteria known as Streptococcus metallomaligna. I can't even say that. Metallomaligma. Scrot. I can't say the first one. Hang on. Let me let me skip through this a little bit. Like this is. This is just like a complete less. I can't even show you that. It's too like. A curious fact about metallosis. Nah. I no. Nah, I'll show you it. Fuck it. Right. Yeah, no, we're just gonna move on. Like that video just drags on for far too long. Okay. What is this video called? This video is called The Baron, Queen, Wars and the Magician and a Medic. Okay. <laughs> it's already started out quite weird and we're our, we're only fifteen seconds in. Like that noise in my ear. Okay. Is that the Grim Reaper? Why is he like a ghost version of a pumpkin? And he just. What the fuck? He murdered him? The Grim Reaper just pops up to his house and be like. What's up? In his head, like he just and you left your fucking uh your stick in him. You left your hatchet or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You left your axe in him, you bitch. Why is this motherfucker hanging from his head? Why is he just murdering everybody? Like, I know he's a Grim Reaper, but like, Jesus Christ, this Grim Reaper just fucking shows up out of nowhere. Shows up to the house, shanks the guy out the front, fucking does away with him. He walks in to the next guy, the fucking, he has like a normal body, like legs, but it's like a bird or some shit. And it's just like, so, and fucking shanks him as well. Is he gonna shank the guy in the scene next? And second all, why is that guy hanging from the ceiling? What is going on? Is he a prisoner? What's going on? Because there's there's no like there's no sounds aside the music. There's no talking. I don't understand this. I would like to know. I want my answers. What are you doing? Are you eating him now? You cannibal as well. You sick fuck. What is he doing? Is he actually? Is he actually had him? What is he putting out his? My God, he's, he's really beat the mic. I love how he's just like... 
at least he's tried to keep all the mess in that wee corner, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he kept it in the corner, he's like, nah, I don't want to dirty the room, the room's too bright, it'll just dirty everywhere. At least he tried to keep it in the corner, I said the little footsteps, but at least he tried to keep it in the corner, you know. Saved the janitor a lot of work. Uh, he let him down, so I'm assuming you, you're friends with him. He's hugging him, so there must be friends. He's on his knees. Let me, let me check some of the comments. I'm not joking. I got a sharp pain in my heart when that, like, at the end started. Now, as soon as it ended, it stopped. He loved her enough to free her, but not enough to forgive her. What? He wanted to perish her by making her watch her lover decay. Wait, never mind. That is actually an interesting thought. Super cute will play at my son's seventh birthday. I don't, I have no clue what, what went on. Okay, this guy, he, he don't want, we'll read his comment. My interpretation is that the main character is the magician who represents a man who has been wrong some way in a relationship. The video is centered around him lashing out on the situation he's in, but most of all against his partner, the wars. The Baron, being the Pumpkin Man, is likely another man of another bad influences, influences on their relationship brought about by the horse, but only a byproduct of the situation. The Queen, being the spindly bird thing, influenced the horse to spite the magician in some way, which is the way the magician lashes out more against her. When the situation is resolved by the magician, he frees, but does not forgive the horse who strung herself up in the trap to begin with reads like a wrong relationship to me that's my interception at least part of me with that comment is like shit you you really thought about that you know you got a good point but at the same time i still don't understand half of what that man just said clearly i am just not i i don't know clearly i just didn't understand it he <laughs> Sounds like a very, very good explanation, and I understood part of it, and then I got lost, and I understood a part of it again, and I got lost again, so I don't know what he said properly, I'm not gonna lie. But, it sounded good, because it was detailed, so I assume it makes sense. But, uh, yeah, that's the episode of the Dark Side of YouTube today. It's it's a short one, I know, but I didn't want to, like, use a lot of footage, because I wanted to upload a Dark Side of YouTube video, um, because it's been so long. Because I know it's a popular series on this channel, so I wanted to upload it. But I didn't want to use too much of it, because like I said, whenever this is all over and we can actually go back to reacting and stuff, like with my friends, instead of just me and half on the recorder side, uh, I definitely, me and Brandon, I'm going to get Brandon, me and Brandon are going to sit down and we are going to grind out the dark side. And I'll probably honestly do, there might be an episode of the dark side of YouTube every week, who knows. But uh, yes, and honestly, when this is all over, I might do an hour long um version of dark side youtube i'm not even gonna lie to you i might actually do that for you guys i might do like a half an hour hour long just for a celebration that we can actually do it again um but yes as always like i said hope you guys enjoyed if you did smash the like button comment down below what video ideas you want me to do um just it can be challenges podcast topics any of it uh 24 hour challenges just reactions just if you have a reaction post the link down below or you can go my yolo and comment on my yolo anonymously if you want to but yes as always like i said i've been on the smash subscribe button if you haven't you're ready check out my all my links link down in the description love y'all see you in the next one stay positive stay upbeat and uh peace